Hello dear students. In this video, we will discuss about multiple choice questions of antifungal agents. First question, which of the following is not an antifungal agent? Amputericin B, clotrimazoles, hemicins and neomycins. The correct answer is neomycins as neomycin is an antibiotic which fight against bacteria, not against fungi. It is useful to reduce the risk of infections during surgery of intestine. It is also useful to reduce the symptoms of hepatic coma. So remember, amputericin B, cotrimazoles and hamycins are the antifungal agents and neomycin is an antibiotic useful for the treatment of bacterial infections, not fungal infections. Which of the antifungal drugs disturbs the microtubule functions? So all are the antifungal agents and you need to select the correct antifungal agents which act by disturbing the microtubule functions. So let's see the mechanism of actions of antifungal agents. So if you see here, you will find out inhibit the DNA and RNA synthesis by the drug flucytosins disturb the microtubule functions by the griseofulvins. So correct options of this question is the griseofulvin. Griseofulvin is an antibiotic means it is derived from the mold that is penicillium griseofulvum which is useful for the treatment of fungal infections of skins and nails. So griseofulvins has ability to bind the tubulin Hence, it will disturb the microtubule functions and hence it is inhibited the mitosis. It is act by inhibition of mitosis. The next question, which of the antifungal drug inhibit DNA and RNA synthesis? Terbinafine, Ampotericin B, Griseofulvin and Fiuflucytosins inhibition of DNA and RNA synthesis. So this is the mechanism of action of different antifungal agents. If you read it very carefully then you will find out the correct answer of this question. Inhibition of DNA and RNA synthesis by fiuflucytosins. Griseofulvin act by disturbing the microtubule functions. Imidazoles and allylamine derivatives is act by the inhibition of ergosterol synthesis. So, flucytosins is act by inhibition of DNA and RNA synthesis. So, correct answer is fiuflucytosins, fiuflucytosin. Yes, it is correct. Inhibition of DNA and RNA synthesis. Which of the following is used for treatment of systemic fungal infections? That is fungal infections are present inside the body within the blood circulations. So meconazoles, cotrimazoles, ketoconazoles are the drugs which are useful for the treatment of topical fungal infections. But amphotericin B is useful for the treatment of systemic fungal infections. Recently we have known that the amphotericin B is useful in the treatment of mucormycosis. Apart from mucormycosis, the amputericin B is useful for the treatment of different fungal infections such as the aspergillosis, blastomycosis, candidiasis, cryptococcus, etc. Now the next question is the antifungal drug fluconazole belongs to class of pyridine, azoles, pyrimidines and acridines. So if you read the fluconazoles carefully then you will find out the suffix is azole and if you observe the options are given there is one option is azoles. So from name itself it will indicates its class. So fluconazoles belongs to the class azoles. Azoles has a two class that is imidazoles and triazoles. Azoles are nothing but the five member 
heterocyclic compounds containing nitrogen either one nitrogen two nitrogen or three nitrogen so imidazoles means two nitrogens are present examples are cotrimazoles ketoconazoles meconazoles and econazoles triazoles is the another class of azoles having examples fluconazoles and itraconazoles so fluconazoles belongs to azoles or if the options are given triazoles then fluconazole belongs to triazoles next question is mechanism of action of ketoconazoles the correct option is it will inhibit the ergosterol synthesis see here the inhibition of ergosterol synthesis by the imidazole derivative and allylamines so ketoconazole is an example of imidazoles which is act by inhibition of ergosterol synthesis yes it is correct which of the following is not polyins antibiotic poly means presents more than two and more present more than two times ins means carbon carbon double bonds that is alkenes so polyins antibiotics having the more than more double bonds in their structures for example is amphotericin b nystatin and candicidins are the examples of polyins antibiotic but griseofulvin is a not a polyins antibiotic so it is the correct option for this question the antifungal drugs ketoconazole contains dash dash heterocyclic ring means which heterocyclic ring present in the structure of ketoconazole for example pyridine imidazole pyrimidines and acridines you know very well azoles are nothing but the five member heterocyclic ring containing nitrogens so here the only one option is given that is the imidazoles so let's check it yes the cotrimazoles ketoconazoles meconazoles and econazoles are the examples of imidazoles and fluconazoles and itraconazoles are the examples of triazoles so correct option is imidazole now the amphotericin b is act by already we have discussed the mechanism of action of griseofulvin that is it will inhibit the microtubules and cell division we have discussed the mechanism of action of ketoconazoles that is imidazole derivatives which will inhibits the ergosterol synthesis the five flu cytosines which is the pyrimidine antimetaboloids which will act by the inhibition of dna and rna synthesis means option b c d is not for amphotericin b so correct option is a that is amphotericin b is act by binding to the ergosterol which is present in the cell membrane and because of that it will create the pores and that will disturbs the membrane permeability so amphotericin b is act on by the binding to the ergosterol in cell membrane now this is the last question terbinafine is a example of which derivatives already we have discussed the imidazoles triazoles and polyins imidazoles examples are ketoconazoles and meconazoles triazoles having example fluconazoles and itraconazoles polyins antibiotics having examples is a uh, amphotericin b nystatin isn't it so terbinafin is a example of allylamine so terbinafin is a allylamine derivative let's check yes so this is the classification you have to remember the classification of antifungal agents first class is antibiotics it is also having two sub class polyins and other antibiotic azoles that is imidazole and triazoles allylamines antifolates then pyrimidine antimetaboloids diamidines fatty acids miscellaneous antifungal agents so this is the summary of mechanism of actions or mode of actions of the antifungal agents some of the antifungal agents are act by inhibition of ergosterol synthesis for example imidazoles triazoles and allylamines for example terbinafines the polyins antibiotics is act by 
binding to the ergosterol which is present in the cell membrane and because of that it will create the pores and it will disturb the membrane permeability. The griseofulvin which is an antifungal antibiotics act by inhibition of microtubules and the cell divisions. So this is all about the antifungal agents. Wish you all the best for your exam. Thank you.